look at some measures of variation, the range variance and the standard deviation of this fairly small data set. Um, so we'll start with the range, a very easy one. The range is the difference between the largest data value and the smallest data value. So we just have to find the largest and the smallest. Here it looks like the largest is 30 and the smallest is 15. So we have a range of 15. I'll make that note over here so that we can compare later to our other measures of variation. I'm going to jump right in um, to the standard deviation because on the way to finding our standard deviation, we will find the variance. So I'm going to just go ahead and use standard deviation. This data set is from a sample data. They tell us that. So I'm going to use sample notation. And that's with an S. Go ahead and write the formula up for us. Standard deviation is the square root of the sum of each x minus the mean squared divided by n minus 1. Okay. So I would read this as um, the square root of the sums of all the x's minus the mean squared, and we divide that by n minus 1. The standard deviation is close to the average each data value is from the mean. Um, and so you can kind of see that happening here. We're taking the, all the distances from the mean, we're squaring them to keep them positive. We're dividing by n minus 1. Um, I've talked about in class how why we do n minus 1, um, which is because we want to kind of bump it up on a sample. We want to bump that average up on a sample. Uh, to make it more reflective of a larger standard deviation when we have a population. Um, also note this notation with the summation means take the sum of all the following. So we're taking all of the x's minus the x bar squared and summing them up. Um, so we're going to be taking each x, subtracting the mean, and squaring it as we do this uh, standard deviation. So I need the mean. So let's find the mean really quick. The mean is all the data values added together and then divided by n, the sample size. So I'm going to do that by hand real quick so you can see it. We would divide by 5. So our mean here is, when we do this, is 22. Okay. So we're going to take the sum of each data value, we're going to subtract the mean from that data value and square it. Um, so I'll start with my first data value, which is 23. I'll subtract the mean of 22, so I'll go ahead and write that down, and then I'll square it. So this is my first x minus x bar squared. We're summing them all up, so I'm going to add my second data value, which is 17, subtract the mean square it. So we're summing these all up. You see our first x minus x bar. This is our second x minus x bar. Keep going with our third x minus x bar. Our x bar is the mean. It's 22. 30 is my fourth x minus the mean squared. And then finally 25. We divide all of this. This is all of my x minus x bar squared. I have each individual x. I've subtracted the mean. Okay. Divide all of this by n minus 1. n is our sample size. So it's the number of data values that we have. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here. So n is 5. Subtract 1 from it. And there we go. All right. So I'm going to do some intermediate steps so you can see it. You can plug all this in your calculator and find it, but I want you to see some intermediate steps here. Go ahead and do the subtraction first, because if we were doing order of operations, we would do the subtraction first, and then, because it's in parentheses, and then we would do the squaring. So 23 minus 22 is 1. 17 minus 22 is negative 5. 
These are all the deviations from the mean, the distance between that data point and the mean. Negative 7, 8, and 3. We'll go ahead and do the 5 minus 1, of course, is 4. Okay. And then if you were to square all these data values and add them together, you're going to get 148. So we take all these and we square them. Take a, make a note of the fact that these are negative. When you square them, they are going to be positive. So this is going to be 1 plus 25 plus 49 plus 64 plus 9. We add those together and we get 148. Square root of 148 divided by 4. 148 divided by 4 is 37. The variance is the, um, the standard deviation before you take the square root. The variance is actually the, um, just the sum of the x's minus the mean divided by n minus 1. Um, so it is denoted by s squared. So our variance is 37. Before we take the square root is 37. So I'll write that up here. Our variance s squared, 37. And it fits in with its definition nicely. It is the average um, square distance from the mean. But we don't like square distances. So we're going to take the square root, and it's going to be close to, not perfect, but it's going to be close to the average distance from the mean. And the square root of 37 is 6.08, rounded to two decimal places. And that's our standard deviation. So I'll write that right here. And there's all three of our measures of um, variation. Notice that they are very different. And that's okay because they are measuring different types of variation. The range measures the difference between the highest and lowest. Variance is the square distances. And then standard deviation is close to the average distance from the mean. All right.